All right, let me uh, roll up the windows real quick. All right, there we go. Whew, I just finished a uh, speedy day of uh, delivering today. Um, so Amazon has been overloading uh, pickups again, uh, as you know, I've mentioned before. Um, and so I called into support and I had to have it escalated this time. Um, because they told me to talk to the supervisor at the warehouse, but I've been told by the supervisor at the warehouse that they don't do the routes and that Amazon does the routes, uh, and they, you know, pre-send it to them or whatever. I don't know. Uh, so it sounds like they're just kind of avoiding the blame, um, and trying not to get themselves into trouble because they know they're doing it. Um, uh, and they want to show Amazon what a great job they're doing by getting all of those routes covered and getting all the packages delivered so it makes them look good. So they probably are knowingly overloading the boxes. So I just wanna say, make sure if you go even 10 minutes over your shift, call in and tell Amazon and get them to pay you for that extra time. I don't, I know it may be kind of a pain. It may be, so 10 minutes, big deal. But the problem is, it's not 10 minutes. It's hundreds of thousands of minutes because they're doing it all over. All those delivery drivers are getting 15, 30, 45 minutes extra that they're not getting paid for if they aren't writing in and asking for that extra pay because the shift went long. If enough people call in and email, email is the real way you have to do it to get paid. Um, but I, I do both. I call while I'm on my route telling them, hey, look, I'm already 15 minutes over. I'm already 30 minutes over or whatever. Uh, and I just wanted it, you know, you guys write it down. And then from there, I'll write the email in saying, hey, here's how many minutes I went over my shift. Can I please be compensated for it? Now the reason why isn't necessarily so that you get paid extra, it's so that Amazon realizes who is doing their job poorly. If enough people are saying, hey, I'm going over, then it's the warehouse. If one or two people are being lazy and then writing in saying, hey, I went an hour over, pay me, um, and they only delivered 30 packages, then Amazon knows, hey, that's not the best person. So if you're doing consistent, speedy work uh, at a decent rate, and you know that you're still going over, even though you're working at a good rate, then you should definitely, definitely call in and write an email. Uh, I believe it's to info or no, support at Amazon flex.com I don't know I'll have to check I'll put the, the uh, email address in the description so you can see it um, but uh, yeah definitely 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 don't let them get away with it because it basically just makes you have more work to do that you're not getting paid for and that's not fair to you it's not fair to anybody um, oh my camera shifted I went over some bumps there uh, apologize for the bumpy footage lately. I'm trying to figure out what I can do to do that uh, to where I can <clears throat> there so that I can uh, drive still while while I do these videos because I'm a multitasker. I like to do more than one thing at a time. One of the most boring things for me to do is to sit in the car and drive with nothing else to do. So I do like making these videos while I drive. Um, but uh, anyways, yeah, uh, like, subscribe, and ask me questions in the comments, like I say every time, but nobody seems to want to do. Um, maybe maybe you guys have it all figured out, or maybe I've taught you everything there is to know. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, yeah, if there's anything else you want to know about me or my life or money making, um, I am a hardcore entrepreneur. I make money in several different ways, uh, not just Amazon Flex driving. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions about that, uh, I also do photography. Um, I might make some photography videos just because. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see some photography videos or some video production videos, uh, let me know. Uh, and 
we'll do it. So uh, yeah, see you on the next one.